Blog Talk Radio. Conversations on the way. Uh, our usual get together here where we talk about things going on in and around the Biatorian community. Uh, hi everyone, this is Jim Mitchell. Please be with you today. And uh, today, today on our uh, our podcast today, we're going to be talking to uh, Terry Granger, who is the president of Bishop McNamara Catholic Schools, a local school system in Kankakee, Illinois, uh, with a long, proud history. Um, Dating back 100 years, the uh, system is celebrating its 100th anniversary this year. We're going to learn about uh, a little bit of that history, find out what the school is doing today, and then talk as well to Terry about his experience uh, with the Viatorians, as we uh, always tend to focus on uh, what that community is doing and lives it's influencing. So uh, joining me on the line is Terry Granger, um, Terry, President of Bishop McNamara Catholic Schools. Terry, thanks for uh, taking the time to join me today. No, you bet. Glad to be here. So a uh, very important uh, milestone being hit. Congratulations uh, to everyone on the 100th anniversary. I want to find out about what's happening currently at Bishop Mack, but before we do that, can you kind of give us a little bit of the, the history of uh, the school or school system uh, going back to its origins? Well, it all began in 1922. Um, Father Shea, uh, who was a pastor of a local parish at the time, had a vision to start a Catholic school. And it also it actually began at St. Patrick's Parish in Kankakee, which is a Viatorian parish as we speak. And um, so the school began in 1922 at that location. And then in the mid-50s, late to mid-50s, 1956, I guess, and they started building um, what was known then as St. Patrick's Central, which is the round building that was uh, that is currently on our Kankakee site location. Um, it was quite the story back in 1956 to build a school that was round. It made national news, and um, it, it was an interesting concept, to say the least. Um, and the school went from St. Patrick High School from when it first began, and then when they moved over here to the Kankakee site in the mid-50s, it became St. Patrick Central. And then in the mid-1960s, uh, due to an increase in enrollment, yet again, uh, they built uh, the rectangular portion of our Kankakee site and connected the round portion and the rectangle part. Um, and that's when we became Bishop McNamara. Uh, bishop Martin D. McNamara was our name uh, officially, and he was the first bishop of the Diocese of Joliet when um, they carved our diocese, our current diocese of Joliet, out of the Archdiocese of Chicago uh, due to the size. So. We've been Bishop McNamara since the mid-60s. Um, seven years ago, we went through a process, a six-year process of planning and, and getting input from all of our constituents, parents. We um, actually regionalized all the Catholic schools in the Kankakee area to include Bradley and Bourbonnet areas um, and under one name, Bishop McNamara. And so Bishop McNamara has its stance today is really a pre-K 3 through 12 school system um, we are the Catholic school in the greater Kankakee community, uh, providing, you know, a quality Catholic education. So we're excited to, have, um, you know, of our history. Um, as we said many times, we're celebrating our historic past, but we're also initiating the next 100 years as we look at it, and we're excited about that as well. Yeah, it's, it's always a, you know, you like to reflect back, but as, as we know in education, you always need to be looking forward. Now, Tell me again about the configuration of the school site. How many campuses are there and, and how many uh, uh, different configurations do you have for okay. the various age groups? Yes, we have three campuses. Um, we have um, two pre-K to five sites. Uh, one is located uh, at the Parish of Maternity BVM. Uh, again, that is uh, very important to the Viatorians um, as that is the first um, that was the first Catholic parish in our community um, founded by Father Curbs way back when, and uh, the Viatorians are still serving there today. 
Um, that is my home parish, and actually that's where I began my administrative career as a principal. I was at I was a principal at Maternity BVM Elementary for 10 years before I came over here to Bishop McNamara. And then our other site is at St. Joe's Parish in Bradley, uh, the Bradley site, and that is a pre-K to 5 site as well. And then our Kankakee site, which is where Bishop McNamara High School is still located, but that's, you know, that's where it all began for the high school. Um, and that site, our site here currently um, has grades 6 through 12. And uh, we know what uh, Catholic schools are facing across the country today. How, how is your enrollment across the various campuses? We, um, we have 901 students pre-K 3 through 12, um, which is our second highest enrollment that we've had uh, since we regionalized seven years ago. Um, our very first year, we um, had 910 kids here, so we're really close to where we're at. Um, we took a little bit of a hit during the pandemic here, um, especially at the pre-K level. Um, but this year, we we're excited to say that system-wide, we have an increase of 44 students, which has been, uh, you know, just tremendous for everyone involved. Um, and it, it really says a lot about our our faculty and staff and all of our efforts in marketing and, and, and you know, recruitment of students to uh, to have that amount of growth in from one year to the next. So we're really excited about yeah. that. That is very impressive. Now, when you talk about enrollment, when you talk about um, attracting families to to the school system, um, what, what would you point to and say these are our strengths, these are the things that make us unique here in the, in the Bishop McNamara Catholic Schools? Well, I think we start, first of all, with our Catholicity. Um, I think, you know, um, anyone that wants uh, a solid Catholic education with a Catholic background, um, I think that we feel that we uh, do a very good job with, you know, our theology department um, across the board. Um, and, and the other thing that I think, you know, we, I, I use the word traditional in the sense of, of educating students. Um, we, you know, we still feel that it's our obligation to prepare our students for the next step in their life um, as they leave our high school. And, you know, the vast majority of our students go on to the college or university of their choice. But, um, you know, there, we do have some that enter the military, and, and, and there are those that enter the workforce. But, you know, our goal is to help them with their plan. You know, we ask kids to develop a plan starting their freshman year for their future. And if that plan means going to the college or university of their choice or if it means, you know, as I said, going into the military or the workforce, we're going to help them, you know, obtain the goals that they've set for themselves and, and accomplish their plan. We're uh, enjoying conversation with Terry Granger today. He's the president of Bishop McNamara Catholic Schools down in Kankakee County. Um, and obviously, he's mentioned, it's uh, his home hometown, his home parish there. He's been involved for many years, now serving, as I said, as president. And um, in addition to your role there, you mentioned the Viatorians um, have been a part of that area for many, many years. Can you talk a little bit about the Viatorian legacy in, in all that happens in your community? Well, they were when I was a student here at Bishop McNamara many, many moons ago. <laughs> they were the actually, you know, they were teachers here. They were administrators here, and that was my first, um, uh, I guess, induction into the Viatorian way, if you will. Um, you know, I had many teachers that were brothers and/or priests from the Viatorians, and uh, and then when I got out of college and I came and taught here right right out of college, um, they were still here as the administration and and still teaching here and so then I'm working for them and I, and so I got to really know you know their charisma if you will what they stand for and um and then when I became an administrator at maternity BVM I was so very fortunate I had two I'm going to say I had two mentors um there and they were both brilliant men father uh, Jacqueline Ann and father Jim Michaelitz who were both great educators in their day and they really have took me under their wings and a lot of what you know I do today as administrator I learned from them and I was I've always said that I've been very fortunate as an administrator especially uh, to work in parishes in which the Viatorians um, you know are at because they understand education you know that's part of who they are and and they get what it means to have a Catholic school within a parish and they're very very supportive of Catholic education and, uh, you know, they just made it so easy for us to, you know, promote what we wanted to do as a Catholic school. And, uh, and I, they, you know, so they've played a very important role in my life, not only as a student, but as an employee and now as an administrator. And uh, 
you know, many of them were great friends uh, of mine um, and, and still are. And, uh, you know, it's just been a real blessing for me to be able to work with the Viatorians. And that has, uh, I assume, part of what has led you then to to uh, pursue the path of becoming a pre-associate in the Viatorian community. What, what, what does that uh, process mean to you at this point? Well, you know, they've been <laughs> they've been after me to do that for some time, to be honest with you. <laughs> and, uh-huh. and, you know, I, I was just afraid I didn't have the time to, you know, to, to do that. And, um, you know, I've been really looking at this over the last few years. And as I get closer to my my retirement, you know, and, and it's not right around the corner, but, you know, it's, there, it's, it's getting closer. And, you know, I thought, you know, it's time for me to give back to that community that was so – played such a special role in my life. And I just simply want to give back. And so I'm beginning that process, going through the two-year process, and i um, excited about that to uh, be able to, you know, consider myself to be an associate of, of the Clerics of St. Vider. Talk a little bit about the the role of faith uh, should play in, in young people's lives today. I know that, you know, you said you were busy as an adult, hard to find time, and I'm sure with kids doing mm-hmm. all that they do, it, it's hard as well. But um, Viatorians always try and make sure that the, there's that faith component. Is that still important in your system? Oh, it's very important. Um, you know, when you know you ask the question, you know, what 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 do you think is important? you know, important part of our school. And, you know, I always start with that. When a, when a new family comes in and talks to us about, you know, joining our family, our school family, uh, you know, that's the first thing we talk about is, is our faith. And I think in 2022, there, you know, we live in a very complex uh, world. I'll put it that way, I guess. And, you know, I think the more that we can, you know, evangelize the youth um, and, and, you know, provide that moral foundation for them, I, I think that's just going to be not only be better for our society, but also for our Catholic Church in general. And, um, and unfortunately, in many cases, you know, we are the religious piece for many of our kids, you know, um, and so we recognize that and we want to take advantage of that to, in the sense of making sure that we provide them all the different types of liturgical services from adoration to reconciliation to masses Correct, uh, you know, confessions, the whole, everything that we can possibly provide for our students. And, and you know, we are very intentional in doing that. And uh, so, it, it, you know, in my mind, um, you know, uh, I was told many years ago, if, if, if you can't walk into a school and, and if you don't feel right away that it's Catholic, then it's, you're doing something wrong and it's really just a private school. And we really consciously try to uh, to make sure that people, are, well, when they walk in, they know that they're in a school that is Catholic. And uh, certainly join the conversation. We're, we're going to wrap up here in a minute before I let you go. I, I certainly want to ask you about the next 100 years. Um, I, I know you're not planning, you know, all the way out, but you've got to be looking ahead for the next <laughs> few. What, uh, what, uh, what does the future look like for you for this? School? Well, we're in the midst of uh, a capital campaign uh, for the future, um, if you will. Um, and we have four major projects that we are, uh, you know, raising money for. Um, we are going to build a chapel in the, at the Kent Key site. Um, we have a our, in the in the circle, the upper level in the middle of the entire building was at one time a, a library, uh, a good sized library, and we are going to transition that space into a chapel in the round where we will be able to have uh, a worship space outside of using the gym for mass. You know, mm-hmm. when we have masses for everybody, you know, and we wanted sure. our own specific worship space, so we're. We're doing that. Um, we are. We have one chemistry lab in the high school that is the original from 1960. Uh, out of the four labs that are in our high school that hasn't been re- renovated, and so we're going to renovate that. Um, our football stadium was built in 1958, and it is still the same structure. And it's a it's a cinder block stadium, and it's starting to show its age, if you will. And so sure. we are going to build a new football stadium. Um, in honor of our legendary coach Ritz and Annie, who coached here for 47 years, um, so that that is part of his, this plan. And then the last piece is a um, a student success center, which is um, kind of a unique space in that we want it to be a, an area that we can use for tutoring, and as well as our counselors can meet with groups of of students about career planning, college planning and that type of thing. We really don't have a space to do that that would be dedicated to that. Um, we've hired a director of student success this year who is really dealing with kids that 
need a little extra help and in, in, in the academic areas or dealing with, you know, their, their families. They could be English second uh, language learners. And so we're, you know, we're trying to help those families as much as we can. And so to create a dedicated space for them. Those, so those are the four projects. And then, of course, looking to the, you know, long term, uh, we have uh, a good portion of this campaign going towards endowment funds. Um, which we could use support. for, you know, the future in, in, in ways that we feel are necessary. Well, many thanks, Terry Granger, for spending some time with us today. Congratulations on uh, Bishop McNamara 100-year celebration. We uh, all ask the community to pray for continued strength and success there. To learn more about the school, follow them on social media, at Bishop McNamara, and that's M-C-N-A-M-A-R-A, or visit Bishop Mac, M-A-C, Dot com. Terry Granger, thank you. Thanks, everyone, for listening as well.